Have you ever wondered why certain atoms attract each other while others repel? Or how molecules manage to stick together to form everything from water to DNA? Today, we're unveiling the secret behind these mysterious forces, the Leonard Jones potential. Whether you're a student, a science enthusiast, or just curious about the invisible interactions shaping our world, this video is for you. Let's dive in. The Leonard Jones potential, often abbreviated as the LJ potential, is a mathematical model that describes how two non-bonded atoms or molecules interact. It's especially useful in understanding the forces at play in gases, liquids, and even biological molecules. Here's a graph of the Leonard Jones potential. On the x-axis, we have the distance between two particles. On the y-axis, we have the potential energy. The curve has two main features, the attractive part and the repulsive part. Let's break these down. First, the repulsive part. When two atoms get very close to each other, their electron clouds overlap, creating a strong repulsive force. This is represented by the steep rise on the left side of the graph. Mathematically, this repulsion is proportional to 1 over the distance to the power of 12. Next, the attractive part. At longer distances, the atoms experience an attractive force due to van der Waals interactions. This is represented by the general dip on the right side of the graph. The attraction is proportional to 1 over the distance to the power of 6. The point where the curve dips to its lowest point represents the equilibrium distance. At this distance, the attractive and repulsive forces balance out, and the potential energy is at its minimum. This is where the atoms are most stable. Now let's take a closer look at the actual formula for the Leonard Jones potential. The potential energy, V of R, as a function of the distance R between two particles, is given by this following equation, where sigma is the distance at which the potential energy is zero, and epsilon is the depth of the potential well, indicating how strong the attraction is at the equilibrium distance. The R represents the bond length, or the distance between the two atoms. In this formula, the term raised to the 12th power represents a repulsive term, while the term raised to the 6th power represents the attractive term. Because the repulsive force between atoms is much stronger than the attractive force between atoms, the repulsive force dominates the equation. The balance between these two terms determines the overall shape of the potential curve. So, why is the Leonard Jones potential so important? Well, it's used in molecular dynamic simulations to predict the behavior of molecules in different states of matter. For example, it helps scientists understand how gases condense into liquids or how proteins fold in biological systems. By applying the Leonard Jones potential into computerized simulations, researchers can gain insights into molecular structures, reactions, and properties that are crucial for fields like material science, chemistry, and biophysics. In summary, the Leonard Jones potential is a fundamental concept that helps us understand the interactions between atoms and molecules. Its simplicity and effectiveness makes it a valuable tool in both theoretical studies and practical applications.